the Piranha was indeed revolutionary for its time. Previously, Western armies generally regarded wheeled armored vehicles as nothing more than armored trucks or weapon systems suitable for only low-intensity conflicts. It was also one of the pioneers of modular design logic. Today, we're investigating the Prania, the most influential wheeled armored vehicle of the West. The Prania of Movac, now known as General Dynamics European Land Systems, is not a single vehicle, but rather a designation for a family encompassing five generations. Our video focuses solely on the first generation, characterized by its 110016 tires. So, it is essential to emphasize that contrary to popular belief, the LAV of the US Marine Corps is a variant of the Piranha 1, not the Piranha 2. The second generation features larger 12.5 R20 tires, a more efficient braking system, a 100% manual locking differential, and a two-speed main transfer gearbox to improve cross-country mobility. Before we move on, we would like to thank the YouTube channel Sun Sun and Antonio Fragorio for allowing us to use their beautiful footage. Until the 1960s, wheeled armored vehicles were merely armored trucks. No army regarded them as frontline units accompanying tanks in total war and operated them in battle taxi role, conducting reconnaissance missions and engaging in low intensity conflicts. The first significant change originated from the USSR with the BTR-60. In the 1960s, the leading Western armies were not mentally prepared for such a transformation. The Swiss army was no exception. However, the Swiss Movac company recognized an opportunity in the late 1960s and launched the Prania project as a marketing initiative without prior government support or secured orders. The first prototype was the Prania 6x6-1B variant introduced in 1972. Two years later, Movac revealed the Prania 4x4-1B variant. The first customer was a country in Africa that acquired the vehicle for use in low-intensity conflicts. The serial production commenced in 1976. Canada and Chile obtained production rights under license for the Prania 1 in 1977 and 1981 respectively. The US Marine Corps' selection of the vehicle's 8x8 variant in 1982 was undoubtedly its most striking success. The amphibious Prania 1 is one of the pioneers of modular design, which made it popular in the market. Nevertheless, its modularity is somewhat primitive compared to current standards. The customer can initially select various engines, transmissions, mission equipment and armament without necessitating a redesign effort. However, subsequent changes and modernizations require depot-level rebuilding work. It also boasts various technological innovations for its time, such as an advanced powertrain with an independent suspension. The Swiss engineers installed automatic locking differentials within the hull in a flexible manner. Wheel stations feature hydraulic shock absorbers. The suspension system allows for a maximum wheel travel of 0.32 meters. The turning radius of the 8x8 variant is merely 7.7 .7 meters. Its design resembles that of tracked armored vehicles, improving combat efficiency. The infantry can fight under armor protection through firing ports. The troops can be disembarked from the rear ramp. Conversely, many of its counterparts at the time still featured side doors. The Piranha 1 has an all-welded steel hull that is resistant to 7.62mm armor-piercing ammunition and shell splinters. CBRM protection is optional. Chile Ghana, Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, Switzerland, the United States of America and Uruguay are the current operators. Canada, Liberia and Sierra Leone are the former operators. The three-person crew of the 8x8 Prania 1 consists of a commander, gunner and driver. The vehicle, which can also carry up to 12 infantry, has a length of 6.37 meters, a width of 2.5 meters and a height of 1.85 meters. Its combat weight is 12.3 tons. The 300 horsepower Detroit Diesel 6V53T diesel engine provides a road speed of 100 km per hour. Its range is 780 km. The Piranha 1 can negotiate 0.5 meter vertical steps. It is amphibious with a water speed of 10 km per hour. 
powered by a 195 horsepower 6 BTA 5.9 diesel engine, the 4x4 Piranha 1 can transport 7 troops. It has a combat weight of 7.8 tons, a length of 5.32 meters and a range of 700 kilometers. Its turning radius is 6.3 meters. The 6x6 variant has a combat weight of 10.5 tons and a length of 5.97 meters. With a range of 600 km, it boasts a turning radius of 7.3 meters. Its personnel carrier variant can transport up to 11 troops. The Swiss Army operates the Panzerjager 90 anti-tank version, also known as the PZJG-90, using BGM-71 tow missiles. It also utilizes PZJ Tow Farsjule Driving School, San FC Ambulance and KDO PZ Command variants. Another variant of the 6x6 Piranha 1 is the Canadian AVGP, which stands for Armored Vehicle General Purpose. General Motors of Canada, now known as General Dynamics Land Systems Canada, produced 491 AVGPs under license, with the first being delivered in 1979. Fitted with a 215 horsepower Detroit Diesel 6V53T diesel engine, they include heaters for both the engine and crew compartment, along with coal starting aids. The Grizzly, which is its personnel carrier variant, is capable of transporting 6 troops and has a combat weight of 10.5 tons, a length of 5.97 meters and a range of 603 kilometers. It is armed with a 12.7 mm and a 7.62 mm machine gun. The Cougar fire support variant has a 76 mm L23A1 gun. The Husky repair and recovery version is equipped with a HEAP 650A crane boasting a capacity of 4536 kg. Uruguay acquired some decommissioned Cougars from Canada and converted them into armored personnel carriers by removing their turrets. Two Chilean companies also produced the Piranha 1 6x6 and 8x8 variants under license, known as the Piranha. The 6x6 model, built by Carduin, features serial variants including a personnel carrier, a 120mm mortar carrier, a command post, an ambulance and an aerial surveillance radar carrier. This vehicle is identical to the original Swiss model except for an additional 200 liters of fuel capacity which extends its operational range from 600 km to approximately 1200 km. Its fire support version features accordion design non-stabilized turret which houses a 90mm Cockerell Mark III gun and a laser rangefinder. The self-propelled anti-aircraft variant has a 20mm twin-barrel TCM-20 gun system and the vehicle also had an air defense missile carrier model with the blowpipe manpads previously. Non-serial versions of the 6x6 Piranha have been fitted with the 20mm GAD AOA, 90mm Ispani Suiza and 90mm Angeza ET-90 turrets, along with the HA-8 and Lahat anti-tank missile launchers and the 60mm IMI hypervelocity medium support weapon. The variant with both blowpipe manpads and Mamba anti-tank missiles was probably the most intriguing one. Additionally, certain prototype vehicles have been equipped with 70mm and 102mm multiple rocket launchers. Its repair version has yet to commence production or enter into service. The FOMI variant, known as the Piranha 8x8D, can transport 11 troops, has a combat weight of 13 tons and a length of 6.37 meters. Its range extends to 850 km. It is not amphibious. The Piranha 8x8D has a non-serial fire support variant with a 90mm gun. In 1982, the US Marine Corps ordered the LAV, referring to the light armored vehicle, following an internationally competitive tender. Based on the 8x8 Piranha 1, the vehicle was produced by General Motors of Canada and the first unit was delivered in 1983. Its primary reconnaissance variant, the LAV-25, can carry six Marines, has a combat weight of approximately 12.8 tons, a length of 6.39 meters and a height of 2.69 meters. Powered by a 275 horsepower Detroit Diesel 6V53T diesel engine, the vehicle has a range of 668 kilometers. 
It is fitted with a two-person stabilized turret armed with a 25mm M242 chain gun, a 7.62mm M240 coaxial machine gun, and a pintle mount for a 7.62mm M60 machine gun. A C5, C17 and C130 can carry 8, 6 and 1 vehicle respectively. The CH-53E can transport one in the sling position. The US Marine Corps has loaned 15 LAV-25s and a recovery vehicle to the US Army's 82nd Airborne Division. In 1987, a reconnaissance variant was successfully airdropped from a C-130 and became operational and ready within 12 minutes and 30 seconds. In 1997, the hull and turret of the US LAV-25s were fitted with composite ceramic armor plates made by Rafael, capable of resisting armor-piercing rounds of up to 20 mm. As a part of the Service Life Extension program, they were upgraded to A1 standards in the 1990s. The LAV-25A2 version features enhanced external and internal ballistic armor protection, upgraded fire suppression equipment, a suspension design akin to that on the Prania 2, an electric turret drive system and improved fire control instruments. The LAV-25A3 upgrades offer enhanced reliability, improved fuel economy, greater mobility and a digitized driver's instrument panel. In addition to the reconnaissance variant, the USA operates the vehicle's LAVR maintenance recovery, LATAT LAV-ATM anti-tank, LAV-M 81mm motor carrier, LAV-C2 command and control, LAVL Logistics and LAV MEVS Electronic Warfare Support System versions. The LAV AD air defense model has been retired. In June 1990, Saudi Arabia also ordered 1,117 LAVs through the Foreign Military Sales Program. These vehicles were produced by General Motors of Canada and Alvis Vehicles of the UK, and the Saudi Arabian National Guard operates them. The Saudi LAVs feature various additional configurations, including engineer, ammunition carrier, battlefield surveillance, and ambulance variants. The fire support version is equipped with the LCTS-90 two-person turret armed with a 90mm Cockerell Mark 8 gun. The mortar carrier model features the AMS turret with a 120mm mortar. Furthermore, the anti-tank variant is equipped with the Lancelot turret which carries four OT missiles. The LAV was baptized with fire during the invasion of Panama in 1989. The vehicles of the 2nd Light Armored Infantry Battalion of the US Marine Corps undertook several critical missions. The US and Saudi LAVs served in the 1991 Gulf War fitted with applique armor. Later, wherever the US Marine Corps has been deployed to fight, including Haiti, Somalia, Afghanistan and Iraq, these vehicles have been present. The Piranha 1 also served in the civil wars in Liberia and Sierra Leone during the 1990s. Chile has continually deployed its Piranhas in UN operations. In the late 1990s, Serb forces captured the Canadian Grizzly AVGP. Subsequently, the Serbian police used the vehicle. The Uruguayan Cougars, rebuilt without the turret by the Chilean FAME, functioned as armored personnel carriers for UN deployment in the Republic of Congo and Darfur. During the mission in Sudan, the African Union lost a grizzly in an RPG attack. A second vehicle was damaged after it rammed a more heavily armed but unarmored vehicle. Nigeria continues to operate them in its battle against Boko Haram. Similarly, Saudi Arabia deploys its LAVs in the war in Yemen. The lion's share in the fundamental shift from tracked vehicles to wheeled ones was undoubtedly the remarkable achievement of the French Daguet Division during the 1991 Gulf War. Nevertheless, the successful design of the Prania 1 also made this transformation possible by establishing a solid foundation. Its lines have been carried on by numerous wheeled armored vehicles that have followed. Its modular design logic has been refined step by step. The Prania 1, the precursor to modern Western wheeled armored vehicles, is a true legend. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.